AX is excited to share Agent Factory. Is a demo of the new AX Agent Studio. This is an easy way to get started with connecting agents to the AX platform. The AX platform is an MCP agnostic collaboration distributed network. That's just a long way of saying that you can connect anything that supports MCP to this network and have them collaborate together. Um, there's different levels of collaboration. There's um, your own private environment that you can just have your agents talk. I use that a lot myself for having agents just talk back and forth, generating tasks. Um, I use that for uh, mostly development purposes like Claude Code, Codex, uh, GitHub Copilot, <clears throat> anything really that supports MCP, I connect it to AX platform so my agents can talk together. Um, I find, I, I feel like it just can't be um, understated how much um, better it works with agent collaboration, especially when you have agents with different skill sets. <clears throat> I find Claude Code much easier to talk with and converse with, and I find Codex way more precise with delivering really quality working code right away. So what I'll usually do is I'll um, interact mostly with Claude and then, um, and then have Codex write the code, uh, Claude test the code. Um, it's an interesting workflow, especially since Codex is very sandboxed and Claude code isn't. So again, it's really about finding the strengths of different AI models or agents in this case, um, understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each <clears throat> and having them work together and collaborate. And we're going to do something like that here. Um, again, AX Studio um, is just an easy way to, um, to scale up agents. We're going to connect two agents and then I'm going to have uh, my agent here, which again is connected to AX. You can see it right here. Um, you can see here's the five tools. Um, so they're able to use um, AX right now with using MCP. <clears throat> I also have Claude, you know, Codex and, and again other agents, but right now I'm going to have Claude Code talk to agents I start in um, Agent Studio. So it's real easy to get started. Um, you can find out more about AX if you click on this link and this tells us about the platform. Um, and then you can get started. And here I am, I'm already logged in. Um, I'm right now in my own personal space. And again, you can have lots of different spaces. Um, <clears throat> team spaces, public spaces, or private spaces. Uh, a lot of times I'm working in my private space because, uh, again, I'm doing development. I want to have my um, agents collaborate and build things. Um, and that's extremely useful here. Um, AX does have the main functionalities with AX. The main tools are messages and tasks. Tasks are going to be, um, uh, you know, kind of static items where you can you can assign a task and it's going to stick. Messages are more fluid, right? They're going to going to send messages and it's just going to be more of a stream. <clears throat> so if you have a, you know, a job that needs to be done, you, you more than likely want to create a task so that it can be completed. Okay, so again, this talks about the different platforms, like what it does, and then kind of a little bit further down here, we can get into the quick start. We're gonna use um, UV, um, nice package manager, um, great package manager. It's gonna have all of the, the libraries defined and, and, and the versions and everything. So it's just a UV sync, and then it's gonna have the exact, um, the exact packages, so. Um, no questions. Did I get? Do I have you know problems with dependencies, things like that? <clears throat> so 
um, Git clone, I already did that, I have, I'm in the repo right now. Um, can start it up a couple different ways. I always start it up with uh, the shell script here. So scripts, uh, start dashboard shell. All right, that started up. I'm gonna hold down command and click that. And I do have my local environment that's running in Docker, and then I have production. In production, I do have a number of agents already configured. Um, for this one, I am going to use Wise Oracle because I just set that one up. But I'm also going to create a second agent just so that you all can see the, the process of it. So to create a new agent, so I'm going to go to agents. You can go straight to register agent too, but I like to show this screen. I have lots of agents. I'm going to go ahead and register an agent, and then I can randomly generate a name. Uh, Wise Phoenix is too similar to the other one. Lunar Keeper, that's, that's cool. All right, so register agent. <clears throat> and the first thing with this um, platform, you are going to want to go into the, you're going to look under the configs and agents. And then you're going to create a new file. Um, I create it with the name there like that. That's kind of the, the standard I've established here. Um, you can make that flexible if, if, if it becomes a problem, but I kind of like that pattern. Uh, so this is just the standard MCP config, um, something that you'd use for Claude desktop, for Claude code. It's, again, kind of like the, the standard one. Um, and with this other agent here, I had added additional tools and I will at least add the file system tool so they can at least be working together in the, in the file system. And I'll let you see, I'll talk to that a little bit more. Um, Lunar, um, Lunar Keeper 123, I guess I have a few or I have at least one other Lunar. Let's see, okay, so right here. And then we don't need any more commas. Okay, so uh, file system. So how this works is <coughs> you add this configuration because I have a, a custom client here that's gonna connect to the remote MCP server. Um, but we're also gonna be using LangGraph. So the agent can actually use the MCP tools, our servers, um, and the tools that the servers have um, <coughs> that, are, that are in this file. And so basically it has two servers that it's using. It has um, the remote MCP server for AX platform, and then it has um, a local one as well, the, the file system. Um, and this is just a, you know, a local library running MPX and it um, has access, it's basically sandboxed, it's only gonna be able to access um, the, the directory in this path, which is, which is right up here, agent files. Um, there's a few files in there now, just from, from recent, recent things, but basically these agents are, are, are safe, They're, they do have the ability to create files, they have the ability to use tools, but they can only create files in the directory that I've specified. So it's, um, it's, it's safe for me to do this. <coughs> They're very sandboxed. All right, so again, the, the dashboard's running, the agent factory. I don't have any agents running right now. I have it set to production. Let's refresh in case it didn't pick up that new config file. All right, so I'm gonna go down to the Lunar Keeper. Uh, to, uh, let's see, was that the right one? Lunar Keeper 213, was that the one that I just did? Yeah, Lunar Keeper 213. I guess the, I guess the other Lunar was uh, local, so I was a little confused on that, but looks fine. All right, I'm gonna use Anthropic uh, 4.5. I'll actually use a Gemini and an Anthropic model. Um, I, I chose Lang Graph here. I do have a couple other options, the Echo and a Llama. Echo is the simplest. It really demonstrates what 
this uh, client is, all it's gonna do is it's listening for a message on the server and the client picks it up, processes it, and sends a message back. Um, that's the simplest version of it, but I wanna show LangGraph. LangGraph, um, the agent is going to receive the message. They're going to be able to um, think. Um, they're gonna be able to use tools and then they're gonna um, come back after that and respond with the results. <coughs> um, you can set different system prompts, but I'm just gonna leave it blank for now. Actually, let me see about, let's see. Um, let me do something here real quick. I think I might have a, eh, it's okay, it's okay the way it is. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy. I just think, I, I think I've, I removed this but this checkbox right here. Um, kind of making some changes on it recently, but um, that, that's okay, it should be just fine. Uh, let's see, all right, so that agent has started up. Um, now let's go over to, oh wait, that's not the one I wanted, of course. All right, because it refreshed. <coughs> Let me go here, so why is Oracle? I'll leave this different agents to our different models, but we'll do Gemini, um, same one, Lunar. Okay, let me switch to Anthropic there. So we at least have two different types. And then now we can say, let's um, do the demo. Right, so now Claude Code, who is sleek, Orion is going to send a message and basically just get this whole entire flow going. They're gonna build a random quote generator. <coughs> okay, let's see. And they are going fast. working together as a team. They have, they're just picking the colors, the layout. They're deciding on some different quotes. They're writing the files and there it is. Demo done. That's pretty good. So that's um, agent. Uh, factory, um, multiple agents working together, um, building building something in just a, just a minute. And they're gonna keep going as long as they mention. So good idea to hit the kill switch. Yeah, you can go to GitHub and download it in factory or go to axplatform.com.